Uh, I think that this approach where I'm saying reality is this vast network of interacting conscious agents, does, and, and it's not space and time, it does break down a barrier that has been there between science and religion in terms of uh, things that people in religious fields have been talking about. I'm saying we could actually get mathematically rigorous models of what we mean by consciousnesses. Even, um, it turns out in, in this theory, when consciousnesses, when conscious agents interact, they create new, more complicated consciousnesses. And so you can take very simple consciousnesses, have them interact, and mathematically new, more complicated consciousnesses emerge, and this can go up to infinity. That means I have a mathematical model in which I can actually talk with precision about infinite conscious agents. When we're talking about infinite consciousnesses, now we're talking about the kinds of things that some spiritual traditions are, are interested in. But for the first time, I can actually have mathematical precision on this. So what the I would infinite consciousness. I mean, that's another word for God, right? For, for yeah, for yeah, for in some traditions that would be. But but I can now have theorems and proofs about God. And by the way, I'm not saying that my theory of God is right. It's just the first precise theory we've ever had. So and that's the point. Of course, I'm probably wrong. But the goal is to be absolutely precise so we can now launch a science, the science of infinite consciousnesses, and start to study their properties. How many of them are there? Are they omniscient? Are they omnipotent? Are they omnipresent? These are not things we have to wave our hands about. We can prove theorems. And, if, and then we can actually, as we do that, study this and then find out maybe where my theory is wrong and then fix it. So the goal is to take these questions which are the deepest and most important to us. Who are we? Why are we here? What happens after we die? All these things that are very, very important to us, we've been struggling with these for thousands of years, and we haven't made much progress, partly because we haven't been able to figure out how to turn these into precise theories that we can then try to falsify. And that's the whole point, is to get theories that finally are good enough to be wrong. That's what we want. So that's what I'm, so I'm hoping to have a, a, a kind of spirituality where we can actually be wrong and make false predictions so we can figure it out and fix it and then move on.